What's up everyone, Jay Smith Jordan's here with a special sneaker unboxing, so make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jay Smith Jordan's. In front of me here, I got your Jordan 1 sneaker box. For those who've never seen one before, you have the Nike branding on all four sides, and you have the Nike branding on the top of the lid also. For the label, the label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Size 12 Personal Pair and the color is Black Starfish Pell in Vanilla. So let's open it up and take a look at what we got inside. On the inside of the lid, you have your quality control stamp and they gave us some regular white tissue paper. And there they are, your Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s. Let's get them out. Alright guys, here they are, your Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s. My first impression on these, I like them, I like them a lot. I think Jordan Brand did a great job. I love the way they did the uppers and they did that glossy crunch look to them because it definitely reminds you of Shatter Glass or Shatter Backboard material. So I think that's a plus. This pair didn't have very much or didn't have any glue stains at all on them. The stitching is on point. So they definitely will be staying in my collection and plus they're a shatter backboard so of course they're going to have some hype behind them. And on that note, let's take a closer look at them. You got your Jordan 1 bottom sole in the vanilla color with your Nike branding in the middle. Moving to the midsole, they kept it in the vanilla color and that wraps around the whole sneaker. And then going to the upper, you figure it would feel like some kind of like patented leather. At least that's what I thought. I thought it would feel like uh, my Jordan 1 gold toes that I have, but actually it doesn't. It's a lot uh, softer than regular patented leather. What it feels like to me is that it had some soft leather on it and they put some kind of overspray on it to give it that glossy look and it made it harder to the touch is what it feels like to me because when you squeeze the material together it does got a lot of give to it compared to regular patented leather that doesn't it feels a lot harder i'm not mad about the upper because i think uh, they did a great job with making it look like shattered glass or shattered backboard and it is something different so i am happy about it i think they did a great job i love the color blocking on them you got your hits of orange on your toe box you have it on the nike swoosh and you also have it wrapping around your heel and your ankle area. And then of course you have your uh, wings logo at the top of the ankles in black, which is a nice touch. And then for the tongue, they gave us a, they gave us a black nylon tongue with your uh, Nike Air branding at the top in the hits of orange, which is another nice touch that I like. And they did come with an extra pair of shoelaces. They came with the orange pair of shoelaces, <clears throat> which I have seen some people uh, lace them up in the orange shoe laces and, it, and they do look nice. It gives it a nice little pop. So all in all, I think they're a great uh, Jordan 1. I think Jordan brand did a great job on this job. They're pretty clean. The material is nice and it does look like a shattered backboard or shattered glass. So uh, yeah, I think they did a great job on this. And uh, my thoughts is uh, I would give them between, if I had to rate them between 1 and 10, I'd probably give them a 6, maybe a 7. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, everybody that wanted a pair was able to cop a pair. And if not, get them before they start going uh, skyrocket on the price because sooner or later they are going to start rising up because uh, they are a shattered backboard. And on that note, everybody stay safe and I'll see you guys on the next video, which it will be here tomorrow. And it's the Jordan 7 Potas, the icicles or something they're calling them. But anyways, I'll get that review out to you guys tomorrow and everybody stay safe and see you guys on the next one. And always, thanks for the support.